Hello folks, today we're looking at this little OBD2 scanner from Carista. Now we've looked at these little devices before, but essentially you plug that into your car, you connect it to the Carista app on your mobile phone. It allows you to do basic diagnostics to your car, uh, completely free of charge, and then manufacture specific diagnostics for a monthly fee. You can also unlock some sort of hidden features on your car. Sometimes there are options that cost hundreds of pounds at the dealership that you can unlock with this depending on the technology that's already built into your car. And then with some cars you can do things like register a new battery to it, reset service lights, and also get live data from your car as you're driving. To check compatibility with your car, all you need to do is go to caristaapp.com slash vehicles, pop your car details into there, and it will tell you if the Carista device will work with your vehicle and give you some examples of what you can expect it to do. Nice and simple. It typically works with VW, Audi, Seat, Skoda, BMW, Mini, Nissan, Toyota, Lexus, Infiniti. Just go onto that website and check it out before you buy. So this little OBD2 scanner comes with a two year warranty and a one month free trial of the app. If you then want to use the app beyond that one month, it costs you $9.99 for a one month subscription or you can get an annual subscription for $46.99. As for the adapter itself, it's about $34.99 with that free trial. Do stay watching the video until the end because I'm going to give you a discount code, folks. So it's well worth your while holding on for that. In the meantime, we're going to jump into the VW Touran outside and check this thing out. Keep watching. Right, folks, I've just plugged the Carista dongle into the OBD2 port on the Touran. This is all done via Bluetooth. All you need to do is allow Carista app to use your Bluetooth and it will automatically connect to the dongle. And then here we go. So we've got customize, diagnose and service. Let's go into diagnose first. Okay, so we're just running the ECU scan now. This is the basic diagnostic system. Um, don't be alarmed if you get some faults on the car and the car's working perfectly fine. That is quite normal. Sometimes a little communication error. Uh, sometimes it's a system that you bypassed or no longer using. So let's have a look. Right, we've got five faults on central electronics and two on adaptive cruise control. Uh, we've got an airbag igniter fault. That's interesting. Um, and then we've got the remote key too low. I know about that one. That's not a problem. I just need to change the battery in the key, basically. And then we've got some manufacturer specific codes. Now, if you tap on these, it will take you straight into a Google search. So you can look up what that code means. This one's fault code stored in instrument cluster. Check instrument cluster for fault code, update ECU software. Um, the only fault code coming up on the instrument cluster is that remote key again. So they're probably all related to that. I'm not concerned about any of those at all because the car's running completely fine. Service. So in that service menu, as you can see, it did a little scan. You've got service indicator reset. So if you've serviced the car yourself and you want to reset the service indicator, or you've taken it to VW and they've forgotten to reset the service indicator, as they've done on every single occasion that I've taken this car into VW for service, you can do it yourself on here. Electric parking brake service, diesel particulate filter regeneration, battery registration, detailed ECU info, and emission tests. That's what we've got under that service menu. So we're in customised now. This is a really interesting one. Lots of modern cars are built with lots of functionality already in them. And then it's basically software that decides whether that functionality is going to be activated on your particular car or in your particular region. But there are quite a lot of things you can do in modern cars with these little OBD2 gadgets. Some of them are just convenience functions that actually they don't give you a menu option to control, but they're all infinitely controllable. So this little Carista device is going to help us to maybe customize a couple of things in the car. We might even be able to turn on some functionality that we haven't previously had. As you see, it says on here, make sure the ignition's on. It's normal to see dash warnings and it's normal to hear relay clicks. That's an important thing to know. If you suddenly get something beeping at you saying that there's a fault in the car or something like that, don't worry about it. When you've got this plugged in, it's scanning and communicating with your ECU and it's doing all kinds of things. Um, disable auto start stop system. Obviously, you've got the auto start stop system that's always on when you get in the car, so you can default that to be off. Uh, you can set it to have a speed warning at 75 miles an hour if you want. So let's have a look through this. There are loads of options. I'm just going to go through some of the more interesting ones. Adaptive cruise control overtaking on the right. Don't really know what that is, so I'm going to leave it. Game 
gauge needle sweep on startup. So this is where when you turn on the car, the needles all go like this. It's just a little bit of fun. You can do that on most VW Group cars, actually. Mirrors, right? This is one. I don't have automatic folding mirrors in this car. They are manual. Um, but if you had folding mirrors, but they didn't do it automatically, that's something that with this app, you can literally set it to yes. And it will then automatically fold them in when you lock the car and unfold them when you unlock it. Auto lower in the side mirror when in reverse gear. That's a really good feature. Let's try and do that. I don't know if it will work. So I don't know if this will have the um, necessary mechanisms in place to do it. Certainly doesn't do it at the moment, but we'll give it a whirl. As you can see, I just clicked on yes and it's now coded it to the car. There's another option for more or less the same thing so I'm going to do that one as well. That's really cool so you stick it in reverse and it will just slightly lower the passenger side mirror. Parking sensors folks you can change the tone, you can change the volume, you can turn on or off the visualization of the parking sensors on your infotainment screen. Seats and steering wheel what do we have here? Remember driver's seat heater level, remember passenger seat heater level so if when you left the car you had it on you know, number two seat heating level, you can have it automatically kick in once you turn the car on again. So you can do things like have the windows open or close on a long press on your remote key fob, change your settings on your heated windscreen, you can stop your key fob from opening the boot if you want. Uh, there are so many options on this thing, it's unreal. Now obviously the options that you find available to you will be different depending on the make and model of your car and the year of that car. So it's really important to pop onto that website and check your car and it should give you a good idea of what options are going to be available to you on this customization. Link is in the video description remember so just use that link and off you go, you're off to the races. So the other thing on here is live data that we're going into now. It's normal to see dash warnings, normal to see relay clicks, make sure the ignition's on, same as usual really. Uh, what this will enable you to do is see data coming from the car while it's actually in motion and that can be really useful for diagnosing faults or if you're trying to get a bit more performance from the car. Live data can be massively helpful if you know what you're doing with it. There are also a couple of things in here that could be very useful when you're buying a used car. Look at this one, airbag crashes count. So this is gonna tell you how many times the airbags have gone off in this car. If the airbag has gone off, it suggests it's had a fairly decent knock. So look at that, it even tells you if, if the airbag's gone off for, because of a crash at the front, driver's side, passenger side, rear, or the thing's actually rolled over. That's great. This one's the service interval checks. So it tells you how many kilometers it's done since the last service, um, how many days that was, how many to go, etc. Car battery info. So it's going to tell you about your battery health. As you can see, battery charge level on this is 41% at the moment. Obviously, I've been sat on it uh, with the ignition on for quite a while. It's quite a good idea to run the engine when you're doing this. But um, again, good thing to look at if you're buying a car, particularly a diesel, because diesels eat through car batteries a little bit. So this is live wheel speed data. So if you were doing like a 0 to 60 run, uh, you could check it in real time, or certainly your passenger could for you. Uh, launch control. This tells you how many times launch control has been used on the car. Funnily enough, this 1.6 litre diesel Touran doesn't have launch control. But if you're looking at a bit of a lively car to possibly buy, and it's been launched about 150 times, you know it hasn't had the easiest life, don't you? So we're now just going to program in the sweeping dials and the beep on lock or unlock. So at the moment, when you turn the ignition on, that's what happens. And I'm also just going to show you that when you lock and unlock the car, there's no noise that comes from it. Okay, so to do this from scratch, you plug the device into the OBD2 scanner, then just hit connect. Um, make sure the vehicle ignition is on. And there we go, we're in the menu. So I'm going to go to customize. It's now reading the ECU and deciding what actually is available on this particular car. Okay, so getting into this customization menu probably took 45 seconds for it to read the ECU and decide what's available to it. So we're going to go in and do two things. So dings and warnings, instruments, displays and nav, and then gauge needle sweep at startup. We'll set that to yes and then hit save. This is in real time so you can see exactly how long it takes to code that feature in. 25% uh, completed, 80% done what was the next one i was going to do i'll oh, make it beep when it locks uh, where is that lock in beep and blink so we'll say yes to that one this is to allow you to 
basically turn on beeping when you lock it. So that's now all done. So what we're gonna do now is just turn the car on. There you go with the needle sweep. Now I'm gonna lock the car, which shouldn't beep, but doesn't beep. Then I'm gonna unlock it. There you go, we got the beep on the unlock. That may seem like a pointless feature to many of you, but if you park your car in a large car park and forget where it is, that little beep will remind you. Nice. So that's just a really quick overview of the Carista app and dongle. Um, I think it's a fantastic piece of kit. It's a great price as well, 35 quid. On that note, there is a link to purchase this in the video description. And if you use the discount code NOTAGURU25, I'm popping it on the screen for you, put it in exactly like that, you'll get 25% off. That's a fantastic deal, guys. Remember to use the first link to check that your vehicle is going to be compatible with Carista and it's going to be able to do the things that you want it to do. And then secondly, if you go and buy the device, use that code NOTAGURU25 and you'll get yourself 25% off. Can't be bad. So I've really just scratched the surface of what this thing can do in this video, but hopefully it's given you a decent overview. As a reminder, not only can we use it for basic diagnostics, not only can we use it to customize preferences in the car to our liking and maybe unlock some new features, you've also got that thing that's absolutely gold, where if you're buying a used car, you can plug the device in and see how many times the airbags have gone off in it. See if it's had launch control used a million times. As a reminder, use the first link to check if this device is gonna be compatible with your car and if it can do what you want it to do in that particular car. Secondly, use the link to Amazon to go and purchase the little dongle and put in the promo code NOTAGURU25 at checkout and it will give you 25% off, which is a stonking deal. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. I hope to see you again soon.